Hello, my name is Alex Pope. In this video, we will be joining Wessex Archaeology's dive team as they investigate the wreck of HMS Drake. HMS Drake was built in Pembrokeshire between 1899 and 1902 and was one of the four Drake class cruisers to be built for the Royal Navy. The Drake was commissioned at Portsmouth in 1905 and, over the next two years, undertook a series of ceremonial and diplomatic duties in the Mediterranean and further afield. Fractured. These are nuts, big nuts. Yeah. There's this one flange and there's an outer casing, I see. And there's the central shaft. Yeah, see what you mean about the hexagonal nut. These corresponding nuts here, but presumably there's a in 1913, the Drake was put onto the reserve list. However, the outbreak of war one year later saw the Drake recalled into military service. Her first escort duty of the war was to accompany the sister ship of the Titanic, the Olympic, into Liverpool. And there's this here, so it sort of flanges up onto here, which is a plate, which is bent over. Um, in January 1915, the Drake was refitted with new armaments and moved into the 6th Cruiser Squadron. The vessel was given the crucial task of escorting convoys in 1916. Look up. Second. Look up. Look up. Look down. To your right. Just where that break is. Yeah, roger right that. Underneath, you know. Yeah, I wonder if these are originally from some sort of a larger shaft, work, you know, space, machinery space that this was in. On the 2nd of October 1917, HMS Drake was performing routine escort duties. The convoy dispersal signal had just been released oh, wow. to a convoy of American merchant vessels that the Drake was escorting when the vessel was struck by a torpedo fired by a German U boat, U 79. She capsized and sank in Church Bay, Rathlin Island, yeah, ironically an area well known for U-boats. Whilst the survivors were rescued before the ship capsized, 18 men died in boiler room number 2 when water flooded the vessel. And there's a pin through it. Yeah. And then there's this connecting piece, which if you can see, comes from here. Up here. Oh, look, there's a diver. Have some video. Oh, Roger that. And here's another shaft. Roger. With another pin through the same block, which is a double sided. Roger. And moving in 1962, a trawler called the Ella Hewlett collided with the wreck of the Drake and sank on top of the site the following day. Following this, in the 1970s, efforts were made to disperse the wreckage on the seabed to make the site safe for other vessels. I think it comes along like this. It's a little confused. Yeah, there's a lot there. You've got quite a complicated arrangement, which I'm not quite sure about, hanging down. Roger. Hey, this is a good viewpoint. Really good. Can you wipe the camera again?
keep doing slow all over and then go round to the other side and do the same. Roger that. And if you think she needs a wee scrub, keep doing it. Say again? If you see any other areas that need cleaning, go for it. Roger that. I'll just give you the quick chore first. Yeah, roger, roger. This whole thing is attached to this big bit of plating and framing. Roger. The wreck was investigated by Wessex Archaeology on behalf of the Environment and Built Heritage Directorate of Northern Ireland. The wreck was identified as important but was not recommended for designation. It remains a popular dive site. You see the rudder post here? It goes through the beginning of the rudder trunking, I think. Roger, roger. I need to make your way back now. Roger that. For more information on this wreck and other coastal and marine work, please visit splash.wessexarch.co.uk.